So this is our New Year's Eve clock ready to be switched over for the new year, right? So we have our clock, we got our hour hand, minute hand. We don't have a second hand. We don't have the numbers engraved into the face of the clock, but not all faces have uh, the numbers on the white part of the clock either. We got the outer rim, the casing, if you will, uh, supporting the overall clock design. And if you look at it front, you know, straight on like we are, I think it looks really fantastic. If you look a little, you know, for the profile view, you can see that the minute hand is just uh, on top of the hour hand, but that's the way it is in, in a real clock. But in this case, it's a little more thicker. So it stands up much higher than a regular hour and minute hand. But I think it shows how it could really look in Lego form. I think it turned out really good. If you guys want to play along, make sure to hit the link down below to get to the Lego Classic Kit. It's an affiliate link, so we get a little bit of a cut if you go ahead and buy the kit and play along with us each and every day. So go ahead and do that. Let's go see how I built my New Year's Eve clock. Okay, let's go check it out. So we got to build a clock. Okay, so we don't know, I, I don't know how I'm going to build it. I'm, I might do it 2D, I might do it 3D. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but let's put five minutes on the clock and let's get started and uh, start. So a clock, I'm really not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, the main point, the main thing I want to make sure that I get is the roundness of the clock and then secondary to that the hands so the hands are going to be probably the hardest part of this build I'm not sure how it's going to turn out um but look i'm already getting the roundness if you will let's get that focused in and uh when typically when i have to do this i do something like that and then I put that in the middle, like that. Get something this, some of this going on. You know, the outer rim of the clock, right? Maybe some dark pink to add, since I don't have enough of the colors. Let's see, how are we gonna maybe do this with the, with the blue? here maybe a brown over on this side probably should have went with brown on the bottom part we can change that out at the end if we need to okay that looks like a, a face a clock face I mean so how am I going to do, we're two minutes in, we got three minutes left, and now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the hands. Actually, this could be all I need to do. Let's try this. Actually, that looks pretty good, especially straight on, right? I mean, wow. I mean, it it's not good in the three dimension, but that looks fantastic. I think it turned out really well. I was gonna try to use this, but I think with the point end, I think it just turned out so much better. Wow. This was not planned. I did not have this already pre-organized. I just kind of fell through it and it turned out really good. I can turn, that looks like a clock to me. So what time is that? I've been doing time with my daughter. She's now learning how to tell time. So what time would that be? So that's nine, 10, 
uh, 1015-ish. We'll put it out in 915. It's always easier that way. You gotta put it a little higher. That's one of the things I was teaching her how to do is you gotta make sure that it's a little bit off the nine o'clock to, to inform the person that you're going around with the minute hand. Okay, so I think that's it. We are less than four minutes in, but I think we have our clock. So we got the little hand, the big hand, and you know, when I was a kid, I always thought, well, shouldn't we use the big hand to be the hour hand and the little hand to be the minute hand? I always thought that, I, I don't know why. I thought the big meant more powerful, bigger item, bigger measurement of the, the amount of time that we're looking at. And the second hand is the tallest. So yeah, I mean, this could be the second hand, right? Tick, 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 tick. So it's kind of funny that it works backwards. It works backwards as to how you tell time. You start with the smallest hand and you work your way to the biggest hand. Um, so that's just a tip out there. If you guys are also learning how to tell time right now, the, always start with the smallest hand and work your way out. Um, so the hour hand, the minute hand, and then the second hand if, you, if your clock has one. So I like how this looks. Um, these little crevices around the edge, I'm not too worried about those, honestly. I would rather have um, some good color swap. Ooh, there we go. Just put these like that. And now we have a much better clock. Look at that. So you got the outer ridge, which might or might, you know, most of the time the, the numbers are on here. Could I do, let's do a little, What number does this look like? Can I make it look like a, um, a three or an eight? No. Plus on top of that, it would be off centered. I don't like that. Okay, so there's our clock. I think that's a pretty cool design. If you agree, leave a comment down below. If you don't, leave a comment down below as how we could have done this differently, how we could improve our techniques, our Lego techniques. We'd love to hear your suggestions on how we can make our Legos better and also how we can make our videos better. This is a community that we're trying to build, so we wanna make sure that we're meeting your needs. Okay, well, hopefully you'll give us a comment. Also make sure to subscribe because we put out a new video each and every day. And uh, also go follow us on Instagram where we post a, a, a real detailed photo of our builds each and every day as well. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's go check out what we're gonna build tomorrow. Bye-bye. So a clock, that was really difficult. So now let's spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow. Again, all this week we're doing a bunch of videos leading up to the New Year's and we are going to build New Year's. So write out the words New Year's. Now we don't have that many pieces and we've written out um, a couple words in the past. I think, what was the other one? Uh, USA, we wrote out USA and vote. And now it does take up a lot of pieces. Now we only have 221 pieces in the kit. Link down below for the kit. Um, not sure how we're gonna build it, but tune in tomorrow where you will see us give it a try. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.